Well, hundreds of professionals across a variety of fields. They're in Colorado Springs right now, spending two days here to try to figure out how to make our highways safer. They're participating in the Colorado Department of Transportation's third annual safety summit, and that's where we find our road warrior, Scott Harrison, who's live at the Antlers Hotel in downtown Colorado Springs, where the event is being held. And Scott, the goal of this is to come up with ways to help save lives on Colorado roads. Yeah, Bryn, that definitely is the goal here. The Colorado, or the, the CDOT, Colorado Department of Transportation Traffic Safety Summit started yesterday morning, kicks up again this morning and goes through the day, and then it'll wrap up. A cross-section cross of experts, as you guys mentioned, from law enforcement, engineering, community planning, education, advocacy, as well as emergency response and public health, are participating in this summit. They're not only promoting highway safety among the public, but also looking for ways to actually make highways safer. As we take you to video now, showing you some of the activity here. These past two days, they've been brainstorming ideas through panel presentations, workshops, and networking. They're hoping to reverse trends like last year when, despite a 6% decrease in highway deaths overall, the state had a record number of cyclists and pedestrians killed. And that makes us wonder why that's the case when pedestrians, bicyclists, and other non-motorized traffic are generally prohibited from highways. We spoke to one representative with the Colorado State Patrol to explain. And a lot of those pedestrians that we come in contact are individuals that are homeless and they need help and they need information. So that's what we're seeing and that's the other part of that is, is we're having those discussions to provide them with the needs that they have to keep them off the roadways. Now the summit's participants are not just from the Pikes Peak region, they're also from the Rocky Mountain area and from around the country. This year's theme is uniting transportation minds for safer communities. And to further that safety message here, state troopers this week started their increased seatbelt enforcement known as the Click It or Ticket campaign, and that continues through next Friday. The state patrol issued more than 1,700 citations in May during their last Click It or Ticket campaign. So it shows that many people still are not taking the safety message seriously, and that's part of the goal or part of the purpose of the Traffic Safety Summit here. We're live outside the Antlers Hotel in downtown Colorado Springs. I'm the Road Warrior, Scott Harrison for KRDO 13. All right, Scott, thanks so much. From stories like these about events happening where uh, local officials are trying to make our roads safer, and then there's also a lot of potholes, road work, traffic, you name it. Road Warrior Scott Harrison is on top of our commute each and every day and all the happenings in our area. If you have a story idea or a question, be sure and reach out. Road Warrior at KRDO.com.